welcome welcome back to my book for life my name is trina and today we are at the end of the month you guys really you know beginning of a new month but i thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and sit down and show you guys everything that i got couponing for that month of march now this is a little bit different than what i did last month simply because i was trying to do a remake of my video that i did last year it was titled um, $135 household budget for the month of March something like that you guys if you haven't watched it uh, please go take a look at it just so you can see how differently my shopping is from last year all right now I am gonna show you guys these hauls I have taken out a few items simply because they weren't necessarily like a household it was just kind of like additional items that I got like a makeup brush y'all don't you know that's that's not necessarily a household item now um, you know what let's just go ahead and get into this so we're not we're not talking okay. about it. so the first one i'm gonna show you guys is probably my most favorite couponing experience this month this is big stack of paper products i got three six packs of the bounty essential uh paper towels and then i got a six rolls equals 24 um, of tissue now this was part of a Walgreens deal and I'm not gonna do any breakdowns you guys simply because all of these are on my Facebook couponing group but if you'll see right there I did pay $20.52 for um, all these paper products now um, on this one specifically I did get five dollars in points back and I got a six dollar register reward back so you know 20 minus pretty much eleven dollars in rewards I paid nine dollars for all of this after rewards now um we got this two pack of colgate toothpaste and if you'll see right there you guys i did use some points as well as a four dollar coupon i ended up paying i'm sorry for the chip nail polish but it was 74 cents out of pocket for both of these um this one right here is like really fun because i remember when i used to can get items like this um, just because it didn't fit in budget, you guys. But guess what? Three cents fit in my budget. <laughs> Three cents fits in my budget. Um, I also got some Lubriderm lotion. Um, some Guardian Fructis. I really love this thing, you guys. It smells so good. Uh, the shampoo and the conditioner. And then I got some Guardian Fructis, um, the Grow Strong. And uh, then we got some more. L'Oreal cleanser and I got this little can of Nivea um, I went on ahead and included this just because it's lotion um, I'm more than likely just gonna throw it in my purse but you guys you want to see how much I paid Visa debit one cent for all of this after paying five dollars in points and of course you know those digital coupons um, now let's see here this one right here um, I got this is a dollar general haul so right here we got some gang dishwashing liquid puffs some tide pods um i got some body wash you guys it smells so good I, i'm thinking about since i coupon for so many like body washes and items like that i know i don't know about you guys but i hate when i buy something that smells awful but it already doesn't like work good i'm thinking about doing like a hygiene um like review or i, I don't even know what you would call it but just letting you guys know how many how all of these smell these smell really good in bottle i'm, I'm hoping they smell good on skin too um, i also got a three pack of razors a bit an air wick warmer um, i do want to add that this haul also included puppy chow it was a four pound bag and all of this right here was nine dollars and eight cents all right guys so i actually have to re-record two of these i do apologize i know it's gonna throw the video off but i just actually keep watching um i got a huge container of this tide simply 128 ounce detergent as well as two of these snuggle beads and you guys if you are wondering if these are good they smell so good and a little bit goes a long way um, i also got some centrum vitamins as well as some ship razors it is a three pack and I paid $11.06 for this. I don't think that's too bad of a deal, seeing as this is uh, $8.95 by itself. All right, and then for this one right here, I got another uh, 128 ounce Tide Simply and two Snuggle. Now this time I got two of the Fabric Softeners, some more Centrum Vitamins, 
ROB floss pick 75 count and just the uh, air wick plug-in and for this one I paid eight dollars and thirty three cents I got a lever 2000 a pack of the green one and then I got a blue one um, I got some Guardian Fructis. This was a new product, but it was a low out of pocket. And then I got some free risers. And uh, you'll see there. I did have some uh, tampons. You see the you buy Kotex. They were a dollar thirty nine. Part of Mega on clo on closeout, and I had a dollar digital coupon. Now they're not pictured here because I gave them away to someone who does use tampons. If you're looking at the bottom of the receipt, I did pay nine dollars and four cent out of pocket. But if you have been like following my Kroger hauls, you already know my Kroger does not do well as far as registering prices on mega events, especially like the first week. So I already knew what went wrong. This one right here was $3.99 and there was a $4 digital attaching. So that would have been free. But if you look right there, I paid 99 cents out of pocket. The lady just gave me back a dollar and 10 cents. And, um, you know, so pr pretty much I paid $6.94 for this. Um, but the good thing is, is that when I bought these, there wasn't a bought a rebate, a dollar back for both of these. So I actually got $2 back. I'll show you guys the stuff I got from Walmart and Dollar Tree. This is stuff that is not couponed for. So, um, I got a 40 count of trash bags. This is the Great Value brand. They work just fine. It is a 30 gallon. And I paid seven dollars and 86 cents for that um the wipes flushable wipes i do like this one better than kroger brand because it gives me four and it is cheaper um it's four dollars and 77 cents for a full pack of 42 wipes uh the let me see what else this one right here the toilet bowl cleaner you guys this is like a clorox toilet bowl cleaner knockoff and this works so good now this foaming cleaner is supposed to be a scrubbing bubbles knockoff it is two dollars and 47 cents some spick and span cleaner this one is a dollar and 98 and it is an antibacterial cleaner as well as uh this is a knockoff lysol it's a dollar and 97 all right now as far as my dollar tree haul um i got the dish towel which was a two pack so i already used the other one I got these scrubbers. I do not need them. However, every time I go, if they have them, I do grab one. I got some gloves. And then I got some antibacterial cleaner. This is just to mop my floors with. And this smells really good. Plus 69% more. Can't beat that. Um, we got some penelin of uh, the, the uh, pine smell. And then I got this one right here, which both all of these smell really good. But um, all of this together, you guys, was... $32.60 after taxes and then when you add that with my uh, couponing haul all together is $93.78 I believe I, but if you take off the other rebates points and about a cash that I got back you guys I spent $76.59 for all of these items okay so I am extremely happy with this month's savings um I'm gonna just continue to try to do my best every month I feel like this is gross because last year um you know I wasn't doing this I wasn't couponing last year which I've always known how to coupon but I was in a sense holding myself back because I didn't want to feel like because I'm couponing like this is about to be my forever home y'all know I live in a projects I do not ever want this to be my forever home so that's one of the reasons why I did not start back couponing and now that I have started back couponing I'm able to be a blessing to other people I'm extremely happy I'm gonna show you guys some of the things I've been doing but to treat myself you guys I did buy myself so um I did use that money and I bought me some feminine wash just a self-care product Every month, I try to get just one thing that's specifically just for me. Um, and this month, it was this. Next month, I don't know. I'm thinking about getting me... Um, I'm thinking about going to get me a facial, y'all. I don't know if I can keep on that hard. But in all honesty, like, I could probably go two to three months without couponing. And I still 
well a few items like dishwashing liquid I do need to stock up on that but like for the most part I could probably go about two three months without couponing and I'd still be good like I wouldn't need anything but y'all let me know like where are y'all at on y'all couponing journey are y'all still thinking about it are you couponing are you beginner you know like where are you at on your couponing journey or do you just like the type of person you don't really got the time to coupon you don't feel like you got the time to coupon but you enjoy watching the hauls Y'all let me know in the comments because y'all ain't really been talking to me lately. I don't know what I did. <laughs> but y'all have a blessed day and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.